Hello guys and welcome back to my English Hero Challenge with Geisley. So I haven't played this save in a while. It's been about, oh god, probably a week. A week maybe since I played this? A week is six days or something like that. I've been quite busy and um, yeah, it's just I haven't really had time to play it. And uh, yeah, I mean I've changed the tactic. What have I done? So we've, we've increased the wage budget. I was looking to bring in a winger but I ended up bringing in a centre back. A bit random I know but um, Forster wasn't really doing it for me. Didn't really have the wage budget after that to bring in a winger, which is a shame because that's something that we do need. Um, so we haven't really got the depth there. I'm going to retrain one of our players to play um, left midfield. So we just have a bit more depth because at the moment the right's fine. It's just the left. If uh, Yemenes was to get injured, we'd have a few problems. But who did I bring in? He's currently he got red carded last game against Leeds. But um, Onelli Regen, he used to play for Ace Milan, and he got a few games in Syria actually for them. And he's a leading star for a championship team, and uh, he can become a decent, well, a good Premier Division centre-back in the future. So I was happy about getting him. It was nice. So what's happened since the last episode? How have we started this season? So we drew to Burnley, as you saw last episode. Then we were embarrassed by Accrington and Stanley. That's probably not the worst result, thinking about it, because with my team not having that much depth, um... It's just you know we're we're gonna be unfit, aren't we? We've we're not gonna we can't really rotate the squad as well as I was have liked. So that could be a benefit actually. Um, then again, losing against Akron and Stanley is never really a good thing. But then we drew to Palace, which is much better. Um, we might have just picked up a win against Sheffield Wednesday. Goal from Chaplin and Yezel getting us the uh, three points there. Then we got embarrassed by Blackpool away, losing three one. I know he actually got injured there. It wasn't out for long, though. Um, picked up a nice 2-1 win away to Sunderland. We played really well in this game, actually. Uh, it was quite even. They dominated the ball, but we just took our chances, which is nice to see. We haven't really adapted to this division as well as um, we could have, but, you know, we're sitting mid-table, so it's not as bad as it could have been. Um, then we lost to Fulham 2-0 at home. Pretty bad result. Uh, beat Huddersfield 4-3 at home. Again, that's a, that's a nice one. Um, Foster, two Yezo goals and a Randall goal. And against QPR, we drew 1-1. Against Wolves, we drew 1-1. And then we lost to Leeds, 2-0. Uh, Anelli getting a sent off there. I don't really, can't really remember how that game went. Let's have a little look. Did we get dominated or... Not really. We probably, you know, that sending off probably did it for us. And scoring just before that as well. Which is not the best. But I've changed the tactics up. We're playing a 4-1-2-1-2. I didn't really like the tactic. It wasn't really working. I do quickly want to uh, check Kono Playanka, who the uh, the Ukrainian Liverpool are after. I haven't actually checked him. I mean, I think that's how you spell his name. Let's just go with that and see what comes up. Okay, I think it might have been. It was. So he uh, is rated 2.6 million. He's fast, you know, though. How's he performed? So he got a big move to Bayern. And didn't really get a game. He got four games there. Didn't really play for them, did he? Didn't warrant the 10 million they paid for him. But we're looking to pay about 15 or 16. It's whether Spurs are going to intervene like they always seem to do on our transfers. And um, snatch him from under our noses again. We'll be interested in signing those to see how he adapts. He hasn't, he's not really the strongest player though. But have you seen Sterling this season? I mean, he's just been hitting the gym. So we got... Ipswich and Bradford to play in this episode. Should be interesting. I can't remember how long I've been using this tactic. Um, Jimenez is on 85 fitness. That could be a problem in the long term. Um, really no one to swap him with. Am I actually training someone to be left mid? I surely am. Keller's been out 3-4 to four weeks. That's good in as well. So I'm not training Keller. I must be training, training Giovanni. I am. I ham, 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 ham. Okay, let me take him off the strength so we uh, can train there a bit, a bit quicker. And let's go into the game. I really do not know what's going to happen against Ipswich today. We're going to play on 2D because it's been lagging on 3D. I think my laptop's on its way out, which is never fun. But um, it's been lagging on 2D, so we're going to play on uh, 3D. Uh, I mean, no, oh, it's been lagging on 3D, Paul. Um, we're going to play on 2D, and we're going to do the 3D on the uh, goals. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just see how quick. I think that should be fine though. The speed is going. Um, we'd be able to see the tactic better like this. 
Let's just, just get raped. Okay, he's just absolutely raped us, McLaughlin. My god. That was, that was a good goal, to be fair. Let's just have, have watch this in 3D. Fuck me, computer. Load it. Load the highlight. Okay, finally loads. Here's McLaughlin. He just turns him inside out and then just smashes it. Should be saving that, though. Henley just fucking parries it into his own net. It's brilliant. Raise Gail Clichy, Chaplin. Can we get a bit of attack going? Yemenez. Oh, he's missed a sitter. Got to be scoring that, Yemenez. What are you doing, son? Our home form doesn't really appear to be that great. Um, we haven't really been that bad, though. We haven't performed that bad. Ah, they've scored again, Ipswich. It's the second shot on target. Um, we're 2-0 down. This is this is the problem. Our pass completion's 76%. I'd, I'd prefer if it was a bit higher than that. At least 80s. But, you know. Hasn't really gone to plan, has it? If they get a third here, it's... Oh my god, Henley made a save. Well done, Henley. <laughs> uh, we'll have to just watch that again. He's had an absolute mare. Kick it anywhere but against your own fucking teammate. Jesus Christ. Okay, so Ipswich has really dominated us towards the end of that half. Um, We haven't been good enough, that's obvious. And I'm hoping that fucking 3D... Every time a goal does, it goes in, I'm hoping it's not that laggy. But I think it's just because of the first time. In a while I've done that. Um, so what are we going to do? We're going to push higher up. Um, we're going to use the offside trap. Yeah. We're going to use the offside trap. We're going to switch these to wing backs. And we're going to switch them on to support. Um, let me just go on these real quick. Take that shit off. He shouldn't be running with the ball. Yeah, he hasn't got that on. Roam from position, no, you can take that off. Are these on roam from position? No, they're not. He can, no, he can not hold up the ball. He can, can he hold up the ball? No, he can't. Um, yeah, but he can uh, hold position. There we go. Let's see if the, he's off tackles. I'm not, am I getting, saying, stay on feet, right. Okay. So let's go into the second half. Let's hopefully, hopefully, we perform a lot better than our first half. That was complete utter shite. We get a goal here. Oh my god, he's missed a sitter again. I think he just hit the post, actually. We definitely played a bit better in the second half, you know. Missing them sitters, though. Ah, oh, they've scored again, man. Fuck's sake. They're just a lot more clinical than us at the minute. I mean, we've had the same amount of shots. We've had more shots on target than them. The same clear cut chances. We've hit the woodwork. It's just not to be, is it? You can't even score them dodgy little um, goals from corners that you always seem to score. But this hasn't been a striking... Oh my god, Jimenez is injured! Dun dun dun. Okay, this is, this is real bad. <laughs> this is real bad. I've got like... Uh, I feel like I'm tramming and I've got that bench. Okay, um, yeah, so you've come off. You're going to have to suck it in, son. You're just going to have to suck it up and literally continue with your 41 condition. Jesus Christ, they nearly made it 4-0 there. We've been embarrassed by Ipswich. Playing an, a solid counter-attacking game here. They've hit the post. Can we get it up? Giovanni! Ah, oh, We've had so many chances, man. This is ridiculous. Let's go all out attacking. It won't make a difference. At all. Um, but let's just push our, uh, our defensive line up higher. I can't believe we've lost this one by three goals. It's so shite. So shite. Absolute poop. There is, like, getting the fucking shot tally up here. The end. It's definitely did not deserve to lose this by three goals. Jesus Christ. But I hope Yemenez is now. That's the main thing.
Don't really care about losing 3 0. Especially, we haven't played that bad. You know, every game's not going to be like that, if you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, it's not the best result. We played Bradford away, who went up from League One the season before us. So hopefully Jimenez is not out, because if he's out, we've got problems, and he's out. Seven to ten days. Uh, fuck. Um, we've got major problems. <laughs> we got no depth. Is there any youth players we can bring in? Um, any with, like, the potential to kick a ball? Oh, look at that. He's got one and a half... Is that ability? My god. He's, he's Ronaldo. You know what, you're getting a call up. Can he actually play? Yeah, he can't play there. He's going to score in the next game. I guarantee it. My team's so weak. Oh, this is bad. Is um, Arnelli out for three games? Did he get a straight red? No, he's back. At least that's some positive news then. Because at least we have a good centre back then. We have a nice partnership. Vidra getting the goals for Chelsea there. Um, I can't believe my my board's actually going through with the the transfer. Huh? All oh, right, Willems. <laughs> he was on loan. It was for two seasons, and he's given adv advice to uh, to Gail Clichy. Brilliant. Right, we needed a much better performance against Bradford. Why is this season could go? Okay, we're in seventeenth now, and that's getting a bit more shitty. I think have we lost? We haven't won in four games, so that's never good. Um, where are Bradford? Ninth. And what their what's their form been like? They lost three nil. And what formation are they playing? Are they playing exactly the same as me, no way. I think I've got better players than Bradford. Albeit like apart from the left midfield guy. Um that's pretty pretty tragic. But let's see what happens. Quick pick. My god, what the fuck? We haven't even got we haven't got a sense of attack in mid either. I'm training him now. Okay, we're gonna drop him back. And we are going to play that young player. My god, I'm gonna play this guy. He's gonna score me a hat trick. It's it's set in stone. Okay, let's do this. Do it for the Geisley the Geisley fans. Please. Right, underdogs, let's do this. Uh yeah. Yeah, put an end to the recent bad results. It's been pathetic. I wanna see him switch the ball. Is he on the ball here? Oh my god, he can pass. Oh he's just been tackled. Oh okay, let's um let's focus passing down the right hand side, I think. Let's let's not get him into the game at all, you know. Giovanni, Yazil, Clichy. Oh my god, he's doing alright. He's won a penalty! Oh, you genius. Come on, Yezil. There we go, 1-0 up. And the little youngster who's got... who basically a Sunday League footballer. We don't need to see the penalty highlight. Come on, game. Let's skip that shit. He's won us a penalty, man. He, needs, he should be on a 9 for that. Daffrin. Leroo. Giovanni will play much better against Bradford. Oh, what a goal! He's a magician! Giovanni. Or Giovanini. Whichever, whichever one you like. Look at that. The French Messiah. I'm going a bit too far with this one. But it is uh, Giovanni again. Kelly. Oh, we're passing it around. Lovely. Oh my god, Gail Clichy's got in there. 3-0. Why can't we do this again in the last game against Ipswich? I suppose we had the chances, but we didn't bury them. Gail Cleese with an absolute power driver. Look at that. Right in the top corner. Lovely stuff. Definitely the best game of the season so far. 
I'm happy with this. Nixon's on a seven here. Can you imagine if Bradford come back? Can you imagine that, guys? Oh, my God. That would be absolutely tragic. Wait, it's, what is my goalkeeper doing? You'd think he's the youngster. Oh, I need to seriously bring someone in. Even if it's, like, some shit dude who plays, who's capable of playing in League 2 or something. I need some cover for the left mid. Um, yeah, very happy with that. Shit's good. Just keep it up. We need that fourth, I think. If they get if they get a second, I'll be I'll be sweating a bit. Kelly Giovanni's looked really good down the right. Nixon, oh he's won it back. Oh he had a he had a fucking shot. Brilliant. Right. Um. Everyone's fitness looks fine. Connor Chaplin's having an alright game. He's booked. Uh, Morrison, I might bring him off because he's. On a bit of a book in there. Did I not start on Ellie? Fuck me. Giovanni, why are you on 24% conditioning? Really? Wait, wait, why is on Ellie not on the bench? I should fucking check this. I, I just don't. I just don't sometimes. New move. We're going to have to risk it. Oh, Giovanni, if you're out too, man. He's, he's fucking walking around. Oh my god. He sent off. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. LaRue. LaRue. Completely sent to back. Yay. But no, we're not going to play him there. We're going to bring off Yezil. And we're going to bring on... Yeah, we are going to play LaRue there, sorry. And we're going to bring on Vaughn. Vaughn? No. Devilk's got better morale. Fucking Giovanni with that shit, man. 35%. We're going to have two youth players on the wings. And we're going to be reaping people. I hope we don't score. Now we've got 10 men. It shouldn't really affect the game that much, though, because it probably make Bradford have more possession. Simple fact that we've uh, only got Chaplin. Da oh, Daffron's through there. We've only got Chaplin to feed, really, but none else has changed. Oh, Morrison nearly scored there. Giovanni, come on, your fitness is slowly going up. Almost there. But I think we've won this game. This is a nice win. Get the morale up a bit. I think I've just jinxed myself. Ah, uh, two shots, two goals for Bradford. <sighs> Lovely stuff. Giovanni nearly gave away a penalty here. So we're going to have to go defensive. Um, let's just go... Let's go defensive. We're not pushing up. We're not going to drop deeper. Because I think that's pointless. Um, yeah, I, I think I'll just keep it the same, go defensive. Hope we hang on for the last bit. Oh, we scored. Chaplin, get in. That's beautiful. Doesn't really matter now, though. We fully deserve this win. I can't believe Bradford actually scored. Our goalkeeper's having a bit of a mare the past couple of games. But, um... Yeah, it's a nice win this, actually. Giovanni's still managing to deliver a ball, even though he's probably half dead on the pitch. It's always handy. But 4-2 against Bradford could have been a lot more comfortable. Um, if we managed to you know, keep 11 players on the pitch. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy how that youngster performed, actually. He got a 7.1. Professional debut in the championship. Away. Oh, my God. Brilliant. Right, um... Have a little look. How's the the old Premiership looking? Um, Liverpool middle table, Man U up top, Arsenal, Tottenham, yeah, Watford, Watford, Watford. Who's their manager? Kenny Jacket. Interesting. Everton always seems to go like relic. <laughs> Tony Pulis. No wonder. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. They've got David Moyes left. Who's he managing now? Norwich! He do, he looks like the type of mar manager that should be managing Norwich. He just he just does. Look at that face. Look at that defending. That's brilliant. Right, uh, Roberto Martinez. I don't know how his tacking isn't higher than 15. 
He's manager of Reading, really? He'll definitely be upgraded, probably in the, uh, I don't know if managers get upgraded in the January update, but I think he does deserve an upgrade, the way he's got everything playing, like. Um, but yeah, it's a brilliant win, I'm happy with that. The penalty was given and that was that. I don't really care. Where, why wasn't, why didn't I play an Ellie? Oh, he's suspended for fucking three games, isn't he? Is that what it was? Yeah. Poop. Anyway, it's going to be an interesting season, guys. We're currently in 14th, 12 games gone. It's probably going to be a longer season. And if we can uh, get like a. If we can scave off rele relegation, that'll be fucking brilliant. But to survive, it's going to be quite brutal. I'll have a quick little look at the, tra the free transfers. Um, real quick. Shit, I'm clicking random buttons here. Um. So what do we look for in a wide midfielder? Bit of pace, bit of dribbling, acceleration, um, crossing. Where are you? There we are. The amount of times I've clicked that unnecessarily. Um. He could be a decent little sign-in. Oh my god. Of course he wants about 50 million a week. I don't know about him. I don't know about him. Is he French then? Because he's uh... Yeah, of course he is, because he's a region from Bordeaux. Let me get him a little scalp, but he, I bet he's going to be just decent. Um, Yeah, it's pretty... Let me have a little look what... Midfield, uh, where is it? Winger, where's Winger? Winger, 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 there it is. Um, I suppose he's decent in all of them, apart from decisions, which means he's probably a complete spaz when he gets the ball, but... I'll scout him anyway, I'll scout this guy as well. Oh, I can't sign these players, because I've only got 1k. Eh... Yeah. Right, I definitely can't sign him. I've tried to, he wants too much. Can I get you down to 1.7k? There's no way this is going to happen. There is no way. Alright, what does he want? Top division promotion wage rise. So, <clears throat> with him being 32, and I'm probably going to be in the championship for about... Three seasons, I'd say. Three or four, hopefully, before we get... Well, that's if we don't get relegated, but... So let's do a two-year deal. And then put that on 50%. Um, Yeah, because by after a couple of seasons, I think I would have strengthened my squad enough. So you can have that five games. Don't think I'll play you at all, son. Um, Where's the wage budget again? Is that Was it 1.7k? Uh, yeah, I think it was. So, uh, appearance fee. How much did he want? He wanted about three point seven, didn't he? So two k, two k. Avoid. Ah, uh, this is the fucker. Twelve k. I know you get three million over the season, so. And he thought he's going to be a sub. Let's just put in mad clauses like team of the year bonus. You're not going to get in team of the year. That's real, real honest. Um, he's not going to get in the Portugal team either. I doubt he's going to accept this. To be honest, I'm literally giving him no money. Uh. You can have a minimum fee release cause of... He's 32. So literally, if someone wants to pay 250k for you, I'll be happy with that. And, um... 
non promotion release cars, definitely. You can have that of 250k again. Sell on free percentage, you can have 50. Just want you as backup, man. If I put him as a key player, okie doke, you might be happy about that. Um. Oh, yes, this is lovely. 30 goals. No, if you get 10 goals, you can have 72k. No, actually, no, because he probably might do that. 15 goals. You can have that. Okay, I'll set that down, down, down. That down. I think that's the best possible contract I can offer him. And I bet you he fucking rejects it. Yes! Brilliant! I'm happy with that. So how good is he? Good championship player. I'm chuffed. There we go. He can't play left midfield, but fuck it. I'm going to train him there. And he's going to like it. Right. Let me just scout these fuckers as well. Just in case I can pick up anyone a little bit better. But I'm happy with that. I'm really happy. I'm going to end the episode on that on that little note there. But um, it was 1.7k. Yeah, so I'm going to have zero left. I think. Because he's got no loyalty bonus. No transfer uh, fee going out. So it's literally just the 12k at the end of the uh, season for his avoiding relegation if that in fact happens. But yeah guys, I'll try to upload more regularly. Um, I've been quite busy. But um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye bye.